What is up, people? I made $45,000 from four webinars. It's pretty simple. It took me two weeks. It was crazy. Honestly nuts that I was able to do that. I just want to share with you how I did it, how you can do it too, and why it matters. Let's go. So I'm gonna put this at the beginning of the video. This is at the end, I'm here in the studio at the end. I'm gonna place this at the very beginning so that you know how powerful webinars are. Russell Brunson, the founder of ClickFunnels, almost a billionaire, I don't know, he's like a hundred millionaire, he's rich as heck. He said if he had $1,000 and needed to become a millionaire in the next, as quickly as possible, what would he do? He said he would create a webinar and he would run Facebook ads, $1,000 of Facebook ads to the webinar. He would do the webinar, he would repeat. He would keep repeating it, re keep repeating it, and go and scale it to the moon. That's what he would do. And so that's why you should be excited for this video because it really is that powerful. Guys, it is with great pleasure that I say welcome to the new Nine headquarters. I got on this throwaway shirt because we're, we're painting, we're decorating, we're gonna make this place amazing. We have an interior designer coming in, she bought all this amazing stuff for the space. Guys, this is just a tease because this space is going to be literally incredible. It's downtown Pittsburgh, it's a few blocks from where I live. Guys, this is the new nine headquarters. This is headquarters for Honey Badger Boots, headquarters for Nine University, headquarters for the new company that we have coming up. So excited about it, guys. So I, I can't wait to show you guys. I can't wait for you guys to be a part of this new space with us. It's going to be an amazing, amazing ride. But enough about the space. You gotta subscribe. You gotta click that button for notifications if you wanna see more of our journey of how we've come to start all these companies, guys. I just, oh, if you've been, a, been with us since day one, thank you. You, you guys made this happen. You guys made this dream happen and I'm telling you it's amazing and it's only gonna get better from here. So I just wanna say thank you to all of our subscribers who've been here from the beginning and welcome to the new ones. All right, for those of you who don't know what a webinar is, a webinar is just an online class, okay? So for the first about 60 minutes, you just do a presentation, you make a PowerPoint slide deck in its basic form, you make a presentation teaching people something that they really, really want to know or they really need to know. So you're actually providing a lot of value for free. And that's the biggest key, guys, is making sure that you're providing something awesome for free, okay? And then at the end of a webinar, traditionally, there is a pitch, okay? So the pitch is like, hey, this is what you learned and this is how I can help you solve whatever problems I was talking about in the webinar. Does that make sense? So that's the basic concept of a webinar. Let me just jump over here to the computer real quick and let me just show you guys, let me just show you guys what my webinar looked like. I'll show you guys the actual money I made so you guys know that I'm not just making this up. All right guys, so here are the webinars that I did. Okay, so we had one on June 10th right here. Um, at five o'clock, then we had one on Wednesday the 13th at 12 o'clock, then we had one at um, 12 o'clock on Friday, then we had one the next Wednesday. Okay, that's all we had. And then these are all of our master classes, our student master classes for Nine University. If you're in Nine University, obviously we do these every week, live, answering questions about Amazon FBA, but that's not really about this. Okay, so let me go back to Excel. So I pulled, these are the PayPal payments. I had to like remove personal data, obviously. These are the payments that I got during that time period of like the, the 10th through the 22nd, those two week time frame. And as you can see, there was 26 of them, 26 of them. It cost 747 for the digital product I was selling and um, it's $19,000 total. Okay, so that's PayPal. I'm gonna show you the Stripe account now. All right, guys, I don't know why I couldn't get the computer to pull up my Stripe account, the credit card account, but I'm gonna show you on the app on my phone right now just just because I can. All right, so we're here in the app. This is the week in question right here, right? 6, 10, right here. See, 6, 10 through 17, we made $18,000. And then this next week we made fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars almost. I actually lied. We actually made this much money in two weeks off of four webinars. Um, so that was like reverse clickbait. I clickbaited you with forty-five thousand, but we actually made this. So there you go. All right, let me just explain to you the steps 
how I made this happen, okay? This is step-by-step step how I got $45,000 in our bank account in two weeks. Step number one was to build an email list. And even before that, to help with that is honestly starting this YouTube channel, getting engagement, getting people to know me, getting people to trust me, getting people to kind of interact with me and understand that I'm just a real person, okay? So that's like 1A and 1B is starting the YouTube channel and getting an email list. To get the email list, how did I go about doing that? What were the steps to get in emails in order to send out and to get people to sign up for the webinar? So what I did, I created landing pages, okay? So if you don't know what a landing page is, go Google it, but it's on ClickFunnels and you just create a page and it says, hey, Enter your email address here in exchange for something else. So I'm gonna put one of the best, my best examples on the screen right here. This is the ROI hack sign up, okay? So basically what it is, is it's me teaching one of our hacks about 200% ROI. And I, I made this Facebook ad and I said, um, here, I'll just play it for you. You've seen it 500 times. There's gurus showing off their apartments, their houses, and their cars, and they're being dicks. I hate it, trust me, I hate it. But, but let me ask you this, what if I was able to prove to you that I actually know what the hell I'm doing with Amazon FBA? What if in 30 seconds or less, I could tell you whether or not your product is good or if your product is bad. 30 seconds or less, no matter what the category, no matter what the niche is, I can tell you whether it's good or bad. So all you have to do is click the link below and I will show you this hack. And this is actually going to help you with all of your product research. All you gotta do is put it through this 30 second hack and you will know for sure whether this product is going to make you a ton of money or it's gonna make you go broke, okay? So this is all you need to do product research. Click the link below. Love you guys and I'll see you on the other side so yeah that Facebook ad get, catches your attention gets you to go to the landing page in the landing page you, you enter your email address and then I show you the hack it's very simple it got us a bunch of emails here's how many emails I got from that hack using Facebook ads I also had a bunch of different ones right I had one that said I'll explain to you a supplier hack I'll explain to you this other thing about Amazon FBA and notice Real quick, before I move on, all of these lead generating ads, all of these things that are getting your email address are getting them for very specific things. Like for instance, guys, you don't want someone to enter in their email address who's searching for cat toys, right? You don't, you don't, that person's email address who is looking for information about cat toys is not as valuable to me who has a digital product about Amazon FBA as it is to someone who was selling cat toys. Does that make sense? So your lead ads, your ads that get email addresses have to be very specific and related to your niche, whatever your niche is, okay? That's, that's step number one. We also got some emails through people coming to our Facebook group, people opting in just through YouTube, stuff like that. But we had an email list. This was how we first got started launching our webinar, okay? So the very first webinar that I did, I just basically put it in the Facebook group, I put it on um, emails and I just blasted it out and I said, Guys, look, I'm having a free webinar, a free live class. I'm gonna teach you all of our Amazon FBA products, how much money we make, and how you can make more money while wearing slippers. And there's a lot that goes into that, guys. You need to have a catchy headline. You need to have, it needs to like have curiosity associated with it. Like the headline that'll pop up here is, my random niche products that make us 81K per month and how you can rip off better ones while wearing slippers. That's just a very curiosity-based headline. Like people probably subscribed and watched the webinar just to see what the hell I was talking about, right? So you gotta make your audience curious. So I sent them the emails and the emails led them to that, to a different landing page. This landing page was subscribe to the webinar, you know, sign up for the webinar. And you can do this multiple different ways, guys. There's a million different webinar platforms. For the live webinar, I used Zoom, just because I was familiar with it. There's a ton of different ones you can use, and they're all, they will all work probably pretty well. But you go to the landing page, you send them the link, wherever that link is. I created a custom one on ClickFunnels. I sent them to that landing page, they signed up, and that's where the ball started rolling. So 
once they sign up for your webinar, that is the biggest moment, okay? So you have their commitment. They say they are going to show up at when, Wednesday at 12 o'clock or Thursday at two o'clock, whenever you have scheduled this webinar, okay? So I followed the perfect webinar funnel that Russell Brunson made. I'll show that here. It is an amazing step-by-step -step guide for making a webinar, right? And so I hosted it on Wednesday at 12 o'clock. And that was the start. And, and the first thing I had to do, guys, was get people to sign up for the webinar and then get them to actually show up, get them to actually come to the live class. How did I do that? So to get people to come to your webinar, you have to remind them. People are busy. People are at work. People have jobs. People have families. You have to follow up with them, okay? So the second that someone signs up on my webinar, this is what happens. They go into this MailChimp funnel. They go into this automation that I've created on MailChimp. So first of all, it sends them a welcome and it says, hello, welcome. My name's Kale, uh, we're KT9, like thank you so much. Here's some more free information. Like here's a cool YouTube video that we made. Here's a cool article. Here's something for free. Even more free stuff that you can just digest. And what that does is it helps your audience to say, hey look, this guy actually knows what he's talking about. This guy actually is on YouTube. This guy's actually real. They're trying, you're trying to get them to know you before they show up. So I'm sending them that stuff, right? I'm sending them, say they sign up on Monday. I'm sending them an email on Monday, an email on Tuesday with free, helpful content. And I'm also reminding them and I'm saying, look, remember the webinar is at 12 o'clock. Mark your calendar this Wednesday. It's live, you can't miss it. And then on Wednesday, Wednesday's the big day. The day of is the big day. You gotta send them two emails. So you wake up at, I woke up at like 8 a.m sent an email that says, look, the webinar starts in four hours. Then I woke, then at 11 o'clock, I said the webinar starts in one hour. Then I have this hack where I change the title of the webinar in Zoom, or you change the title in whatever webinar system you're using, and it sends out an email to all the people again, like 15 minutes before, saying, guys, guess what? The webinar is starting, the title changed, and I changed the title to starting now. So that made a lot of people show up. So what can you expect based on show up rates? Like what can you expect for your webinar? Like how many people do you have to get to register, people to show up? I'll show you my experience and I'll tell you a horror story here real quick. All right guys, so these are the four attendance reports for the four webinars that I'm doing. And let's do a quick, let's do a little bit of math here, okay? So equals, this number divided by this number. So that's the number of attendees divided by the number that were registered. So 66% on this one, it was that divided by that. So I only got 51%. This one, guys, this is the one that was a horror story. And I will get back to this in a second. But how did I get a 6% show up rate on this one? Ugh, what the, a horrible, horrible thing. Okay, and then this one, was I got back to my game a little bit here and I had a 34% show up rate. Okay, so if you're doing this with a cold audience, an audience that barely knows you, you're probably gonna get anywhere from between 20% and 40% show up rates. The reason I was able to get really high show up rates, especially initially, was because the audience knew me. Like they're on YouTube, they see me, they know me. They, I, I'm hosting a web class, they're like, oh cool, I wanna go to the web class. So the audience was very warm and they came to the show. So real quick, before I talk about anything else, let me tell you the horror story about this webinar right here, this one where I got 6% show up rates. Let me really jump over here to Facebook ads really quickly. So right here, guys, this is where the horror story started. Can you guys see this? Okay, I think you can see this. I'm going down here to make it bigger. Right here, this one right here, training my webinar pixel. Okay, so I was, I thought I had it down, okay? I was like, I got this amazing webinar, it's converting at a high rate. This is what I didn't tell you guys that I should have told you just a second ago, is that if we go back to this, guys, I was converting 20% of the room every single time I held one of these webinars. And if you're watching this and you're not realizing the significance of that, let me do a little bit of math, okay? So look, I had 72 unique actual people watching, right? And I'm telling you that I converted 20% of the room every single time. Okay, so look, if I take 72 and I multiply that by 0.2, that's 14 people. And then you multiply that, that times the price of the product I was selling, which is a digital product, $747. So I made $10,000 
in one webinar, guys. And that's how I was able to make $45,000 in four webinars. Does that make sense? I was converting a high percentage of these users who were showing up. So that's pretty dope. So I was like, how can I scale this? How can I make it huge? How can I take home the bacon, right? So I decided to run Facebook ads. And I was like, I'll just get, at this rate, I have about a 50% sign up rate. So say I make, I use Facebook ads to have people sign up for my webinar, right? And if I get 50% of those people to show up, this is what I was thinking in my head. Let me do some math. I'll show you guys. Look, I was like, look, guys, I'll get a thousand people to show up right here. I'll get a thousand people to show up. And then maybe let's just say only 30% show up. Let's say 40% show up. Okay. So equals this times 4.4. Obviously that's 400, right? 400 people show up. And then I'll take that and I'll say I convert, I don't even convert 20% because they're a cold audience. I convert 10%, right? So 10% of that is 4, 40 people, right? Sorry, 40 people. Then I multiply that by the price of the product. So 40 times 747 and that's $29,000. So guys, I thought at minimum, I thought at minimum from that webinar where I could get a thousand people to register, I would make at least 30 grand. I thought I was gonna make actually closer to 70 grand because I was gonna get so many people to sign up, but it didn't work out that way, okay? So I went to Facebook ads, I got 1,200 people right here, you see this? 1,200 people almost signed up for this webinar. I got them to do it through Facebook ads. I spent about $3,500 on Facebook ads. You see that, guys? It was a pretty pretty risky move. And um, I had this audience that it was called a private label audience. And I thought because of Amazon FBA, Amazon private label, that would be a good audience for me. Guys, private label doesn't mean private label around the world. It doesn't mean Amazon around the world. It means other things. And I didn't really realize this until it was too late. So. These are the mistakes you can make if you don't have any like guidance, if you're just going off the seat of your pants like kind of I was. And um, so those people weren't really good leads. They didn't show up. Thank God I have such a high conversion rate that when I did this, I did this webinar and I see how I got 78 to show up. So I got 78 to show up, um, 78 times 0.2. I got 15 people to, to buy, $11,000. I subtracted the $3,500 and it wasn't a big deal. So thankfully, the power of the webinar is so good that even when you make mistakes, you can be successful. So that's that. And I'm gonna jump back over to the big camera and I'm gonna explain a little bit more. All right guys, so I gotta get started painting. The people are about to show up. The interior designer is about to show up so I can't talk forever. But I hope you guys are, are seeing this and liking it and, and, and it's making sense that how I actually pulled this off and made so much money so fast with a webinar. And there's so much more that I could go into, guys. Like, the webinar was on Wednesday. I had follow-up emails after that that pushed them to a replay on Friday, then follow-up emails that pushed them to more um, things throughout the week, and it actually some urgency to end it on Sunday. So it's like a whole sequence that makes it a week-long endeavor that kind of brings in every last ounce of money for you and your company, okay? So if you, before you leave, if, you, if you're just one of those people that leaves, I wanna to explain to you why, um, why this matters and why I'm not trying to brag, why I'm not trying to just show off the fact that I made a bunch of money. Guys, th this is so important to me and it means so much to me because of a mindset, right? When I, when I was working at a nine to five job, I never, first of all, $45,000 was mostly what I made in a whole year after taxes, right? Like I made a little bit more than that, but a whole year, and I made that in two weeks. And the fact that that's even possible is the biggest hurdle that you're gonna have to get through as an entrepreneur. You're going to have to change your mind to believe and actually see it with your eyes that you can make that kind of money that quickly. Because if you don't believe it, you're never gonna take the steps, the bold moves to actually make it happen. And so I never really thought that was possible. So I, I tried it and, and the first webinar went well and then I tried another one. So I would just say, try it, trial and error, make a webinar, give it to your parents, give it to your friends, give it to your family, whether you sell a digital product, whether you sell a physical product, Create a presentation that adds value to your audience and then pitches them something. Obviously, there's a lot of nuances to it, right? I showed you a bunch of like finer details. And if you want to see more of those details, just comment below. Say, Kale, I want the details. Right now, just say, Kale, I want the details 
to your webinar secrets, to your ability to sell things through a webinar, through Facebook ads. If you want more information on any of that stuff, I would be so happy to give it to you guys because this channel is about you guys being successful, you guys making money. And I just, don't, I got a little sidetracked from it. I tried to show you guys the details of it just to prove to you that it actually happened. But that's not the point. The real point is for you to start to believe that whether you sell on Amazon FBA, whether you um, sell a digital product, whether you sell something physical, that there is the ability to make that kind of money in more than that. Like I'm not even that great at it. Like some people do webinars and do hundreds of thousands of dollars of them, right? There is that chance and there is that ability and all you have to do is put your mind to it and learn a new skill. So let's summarize what we learned. What we learned is that if you want to sell something at a high conversion rate, if you want 20%, 15 to 20% of the people in the room to buy something from you, what do you have to do? You have to get them into a live classroom with you, okay? So there are many tactics to do this, but basically you're using an email list, you're using landing pages, and you're reminding people to, hey, show up for this, and you're giving them an irresistible reason why. Like, if you show up to this, I will teach you something that will change your life, kind of thing, right? So they show up, you teach them something that'll change their life, you actually have to deliver on that, and you actually have to do that. So if you are watching this and you haven't seen my webinar, go watch the webinar below. Yes, I will sell something at the end, of course, but I will teach you stuff that will change your life before that because I promise this webinar is not some fluff. This webinar is not just like some, some thing that I did to, to, to make money. The webinar was actually to teach you something, right? So you teach them something first and you actually mean it and you actually believe in it and then you sell them something at the end. And that's the key to to one of the most powerful tools on the internet. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being in the new space with me. I promise you we're gonna show you guys more and more of our transformation as a company, becoming bigger, becoming more influential, becoming more powerful so that we can help you do more things. I'm here for you guys. I'm a resource for you guys. Comment below what you wanna see from me next. Comment below what you wanna see from us and we will deliver it to you. So I hope you got value out of this. I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next one.